Yeah, guys, and I can tell you that Mayor Todd Gloria believes this is an easier and faster way to build homes in San Diego. So last month he introduced this package uh, with hopes that it would get passed. But after a very lengthy and heated meeting, some of those proposals got struck down. That's why we're seeing a revised version today. Now under that package, there are 11 proposals. Some of those policies range from ADU accessibility to housing on public land and off campus student housing. The mayor says the plan allows for the construction of more homes near transit and more flexibility to build homes on public property. The plan also incentivizes building homes on underutilized commercial sites like strip malls. The package also targets certain industrial businesses to make way for more homes and parks. That specific policy would only apply in the promise zone in southeastern San Diego. Now there are some critics who don't agree with the proposals. One of the most controversial is a program that allows developers to build low income housing and market rate housing in separate locations. That means that under this proposal, it would require housing to be built in either moderate or high income areas of the city to avoid concentrating only in underserved areas. Last month, several residents complained about it because they had concern that communities could be segregated based on income. It's why today a revised version will be introduced at the meeting. Now, Mayor Todd Gloria says he's brought forward a second series of policy reforms in order to get people experiencing homelessness off the streets. He's also hoping it can bring down rent costs. So back out here, the mayor uh, is saying, you know, because of the housing shortage in San Diego, uh, they need an all hands on deck approach. So today that discussion is set to uh, be discussed at 2 p.m. Uh, for their 2 p.m. session. And of course, we'll have you we'll give you guys the latest for now. I'm Regina Urita, CBS 8.